sound waves. that transports energy from one place to another without transporting matter. Sound is a longitudinal mechanical wave. It's a vibration that propagates as an acoustic wave through a medium. In sound waves, amplitude is a measure of how loud the sound is. Low amplitudes create low volumes and high amplitudes create loud volumes. As you go from a whisper, to normal talking, to shouting, you increase the amplitude and how loud you are. In sound waves, the frequency is related to the pitch of the wave. Low frequencies have low pitches and high frequencies have high pitches. In a band, the tuba would have the low frequency and the flute would have the high frequency. When you play a piano, you move from high to low frequencies as you move from right to left on the keys. Your left hand plays the low frequencies while your right hand plays the higher ones. A sound wave frequency can have many different effects on objects and people. If a person can sing at the right frequency, think opera singer, they can actually shatter glass. The frequency of the sound needs to match the frequency of the glass. Remember that particles in a solid vibrate, so if you match the vibration, its resonant frequency, you can actually break it. Binaural beats between the frequencies of 4 to 8 hertz have been known to help your brain achieve REM sleep, which leads to feeling more refreshed and better for you. Binaural beats between the frequencies of 8 and 13 hertz have been known to help people feel more relaxed and actually decrease their anxiety. And binaural beats between 14 to 30 hertz frequencies have been known to help with concentration. Sound waves can interact with different mediums in three ways, absorption, reflection, and transmission. Absorption is the transfer of energy by a wave to the medium through which it travels. It's dependent upon the wave and the medium. Musicians will sometimes soundproof a room in their house to keep their playing from disturbing other members in the house. The sound becomes absorbed in the walls. Reflection is the bouncing of a wall off a surface. Echoes are a form of reflection. Concert halls are designed so that the music reflects off the walls to enhance the listening experience of the audience. And some animals like bats use echolocation to help them observe their surroundings to find food. The sound bounces off the objects and returns the bat, which gives them the location of where the insect is. Scientists use sonar, which is where they send out sound waves that bounce off the objects and help them map the ocean floor and discover mountains and trenches along the seafloor. Transmission is the passage of a wave through a medium. If you have ever stayed at a hotel, you might notice the sound from a loud TV that can be heard in your room and that is because it's being transmitted through the walls. Let's reveal. In which scenario would you expect to have the greatest amplitude? A butterfly flapping its wings? A person mowing their lawn with a gas lawnmower? Or a jet taking off on a runway? It's letter C. In which scenario would you expect to have the lowest frequency? A person playing a bass guitar, a person playing a flute, or a person playing the violin. Yep, it's A. What are three ways that sound waves can interact with different mediums? Absorption, reflection, and transmission. Can you match the words on the right with the pictures on the left? Which one would be absorption? Which one would be reflection and which one would be transmission? Number one is transmission, two is absorption, and three is reflection. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos.
more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.